Hi folks, this is Jake. I hope you're okay today. I just want to look at pseudo scholarship and uh, David Mills in Atheist Universe says it's fairly easy to demonstrably prove that Genesis account of Adam and Eve and Noah's worldwide deluge are fables. It's easy to prove these stories false because unlike the notion of God, the creation account and Noah's flood are scientifically testable. Science may explore human origins and the geologic history of the earth. In this regard, science has incontrovertibly proven that the book of Genesis is utter mythology. 2006, page 28. Notice he uses the word fable and mythology interchangeably. He obviously doesn't know the scholarship in that area because scholars wouldn't do that kind of thing. Uh, scholars of, of the uh, mythology and ancient writings. Um, so you've got to be aware that there are scholars who will make these statements about science has proved the Bible wrong, uh, the Bible is mythology, but they don't really understand uh, the scholarship that's behind mythology and the scholarly words and the scholarly apparatus that they use. So they're invading territory that they're not really familiar with. And that's the pseudoscience. It's pseudo scholarship because it sets up a straw man and misrepresents the scholarship in that area and doesn't engage with any scholarship that is different from it and critique it in a scholarly way but instead uses crass terms um, that the scholarly community would not use in the way of, be of being used and then with those crass terms using cliches but not actually backing them up with any, backing it up with any real critical reflection and that is pseudo scholarship and that is what you get with a lot of these atheist writers today and academics